So this is Matt Walsh and it's Wednesday, March 20th and we're going to give you a continuous update uh, just so you know what's going on in the city and we're standing at the levee that runs east and west at Big Lake. If you understand our levee system it follows the river around but on the north side of town we need to secure the city uh, from the waters that are north of town that are inundating areas like Crescent. Behind me is Big Lake and you can see it's flooded and we've heard concerns from residents that Big Lake's flooding and it's going to flood into town. So we're here to address that today and uh, with me I have Matt Cox who is the city's engineer and Matt will tell you a little bit about the process here. So the levee system requires continuous operation and maintenance and several of the features of the levee actually require action during a flood event. So in this case Big Lake is cut in half by the levee and on one side is the ball fields on the other side is the lake itself. As part of the, the levee, the Canadian National runs through the middle of it, and so during normal summer day, the railroad tracks actually penetrate through the levee. In this case, we have a high water event, we had to fill that in with a closure. So on Saturday, we came in and we filled that with dirt and plastic and sandbags. That took us about a day. Those sandbags were made with volunteers from the city. The majority of the departments offered up people to help with sandbagging. So the closure provides a level of protection that's equal to the rest of the levee system and, and prevents floodwaters from entering the city. So just so you can kind of see what's going on down here, to the north behind me now is the floodwaters at Big Lake. If I walk this way, um, you can see behind me the levee system and then the rest of the park at Big Lake that is not flooded. And so there's no concern for the Big Lake levee, the fact that the water's coming in from the north. That's your minute with the mayor for today, and we'll probably be back with you again tomorrow for a further update. Have a great day, and uh, whatever you can do to help out those victims around us would be greatly appreciated.